wait. Nope. Nope. That's not right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of Darts Night on Twitch here at the FODL, the first online Dart League, the FODL. It's your man, Rob, a.k.a. Radar, hanging out in the booth this evening. I'm going to have double header action for you. And I guess I technically wasn't incorrect. If you look at the time difference, it is probably morning in Vietnam. So if we have anybody in the 10 viewers from Vietnam, good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us. Speaking of the 10 viewers out there, looks like Yota JMU, Blade Mouth 5, Tango Book Money, King Raj, DeGrubs86, and Alki Darts are out there, as well as the Fireman. Alki Darts subscribing with Prime. They've subscribed for 11 months. Thank you very much. And PB Brown 7272 subscribed to Tier 1. They've subscribed for four months. So thank you for chipping in, throwing some money at the photo. We got darting action for you. That's right. Because guess what? It's Tuesday, which means it's a dart site on Twitch. Monday through Thursday. That's how that works. So let's take a look at who we got in this first matchup. It's going to be a photo A division matchup between the Nooch, throwing out of Long Beach, California. Last season, he finished third place in the photo A division, throwing with the 23-gram unicorn ando phase three darts. Hashtag Noochalicious. Going up against the quintessential Dilly Dilly out of Alexandria, Virginia. Last season finished fifth place in the Photo A division, throwing with 22 gram Designer Extreme 728 darts. Hashtag the Dilly Harem. Going to the standings should have a good one for you in this opening bout as we have the Nooch currently sitting in third place. Nine points behind King Raj for that first round by as the playoffs structure showing there. Dilly Dilly currently sitting in fifth. However, he is just three points behind the surgeon, RIP the surgeon, after last night. And he, Dilly's got the game in hand, so could be passing the surgeon over tonight depending on the results. So Nooch looking to give chase towards the top of the leaderboard. Dilly looking to give chase to potentially have the darts in the playoffs. And as you see there on the right side, Got some more uh, promotion relegation stuff figured out. That's coming to you. It's going to be, uh, <laughs> let's let's put it this way. Since we're adding some more people and creating a new division, it's a lot of relegation, as we'll see when we get into our second match. It's going to be photo C, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Let's look at the schedule. This is a game week six matchup here for both these players, and it's the first Game Week 6 matchup in the Photo A division, so no bonus points have been set, which means we just have the minimums to deal with. Highest Cricket Throw with a minimum of 7, Highest Cricket MPR 2.6, Fewest Dart Leg in 501 with a maximum of 21, Highest 501 Throw with a minimum of 141, and the Highest 501 Checkout with a minimum of 70. Let's go to the statistics. There you go. Cricket. Dilly, number two in the FODL with a 2.98 MPR. He slipped below that 3.0 threshold. What a bum. Uh, his miss percentage is 30%. The Nuge is fourth in the league at a 2.79. Again, miss percentage the same at 30%. Treble and Bulls, 21% for Dilly, 20% for the Nuge. Five mark percentage, 17% for Dilly. The Nuge with 14%. Just some massive scoring all the way around. So should be a bloodbath in cricket. Both players have won 75% of their legs played in cricket. Opponents averaging a 273 against Dilly Dilly, and he's still winning 75%. That's huge. That's huge darts for Dilly Dilly. In 501, the Nooch with a slight advantage. He is third best in the league with a 61.16. Got to love the palindrome there for the three dart average. Dilly is fourth, right behind him at 59.87. So Dilly just a shade under 3.0 in Cricket NPR and just a shade under 60 in 501. It's a shame he can't get over the hump. Uh, in the first nine, the Nooch with a 70-plus first nine, 70.9. Dilly Dilly, 64.3. Average finishing about the same. The ton-plus percentage is about the same. The ton-40 percentage leaning in Dilly's favor, as well as the maximum percentage. So we've seen Dilly just really turn it up this season. As far as legs won, though, you look at the Nooch, 64% of his legs won versus Dilly just 51. Despite being fourth in the league in average, 51% of his legs. But you, again, you look at the three-dart average, Dilly's opponent is in opponent's three dart average is 60.2 so let's look look back to the left the nooch is third in the league at 61.16 dilly is fourth at 59.87 opponents are averaging higher than fourth in the league against dilly in 501 that's insane but he's still doing well he's still in it he's still in it 
Looking at the split view, we've got it going now. It's an A division match, which means we're going to play nine legs, two of cricket, and then seven of five of one. It's going to be the Nooch on the left and Dilly Dilly on the right. And the Nooch has won the bull. So if we are ready, we can get this thing underway. Dilly, are you ready? I'm ready. Nooch, are you ready? I'm ready, Radar. This means it's time to get darts flying in the air for Darts Night on Twitch. The Nooch will have the darts in hand. Game on! Too well, Dilly. Hey, you too, brother. Kongra Dart saying, Dilly's ego is loving this intro. Your dad's GF says, I promise he's sporting a shit-eating grin while stroking his hobo beard right now. Nooch is going to get things off with a blazing start. Four 20s. Get 20 points on the board. 20s closed immediately. And one that. Dilly's going to answer it with just a single 19, so going to take some time to get warmed up here. Nooch is going to go aggressively right after the 19s. And he'll get it closed. Three single 19s to the Nooch out to an early start with two wedges closed already, forcing Dilly to move to the 18s. Stacking darts on that wire. Can't believe neither of those in the treble. And then he can't use it as a wall to deflect in, just getting those two 18s. So Dilly still with nowhere to score, and Nooch doesn't really care. He's got a shot for the nine. Oh, it's a seven mark for the Nooch. Could have been an absolutely punishing nine, but the seven is going to be a devastating turn here as well. Treble 18, treble 17, moved over to the 16 and got a single. Oh, and Dilly... Second. Early going to the bull, finds a stray 17, but Dilly in hot water early is the Nooch, 4.7, and he's already on the 16s. Gets the 16s closed with the first two, goes over to the 15s, gets a single, continuing the scintillating start on the left side of the board. Dilly going to work on the center. There's a three bull visit for him, so going to need a lot of bullseyes here to really put some pressure on with the way the points are going. I mean, Nooch only has 20 points right now, but he is he's likely to have every single wedge potentially to score on. Well, Dilly will just have the center. There's a cooler visit from the Nooch. Next door neighbor treble into the 10, just a single 15. Dilly trying to find that middle once again. He'll find a stray 15. So the strays are also going to be important for Dilly. Dilly strays like the, the flyaways in his beard and hobo hair. There's a treble 15, though, for the Nooch. He could potentially button this thing up. Okay, the second dart misses the bull, so he can't do it. But he does get a single, so it's another four mark for the Nooch. And he is two bulls away, leading by 50 points. Dilly's going to get 50 points with that second dart, and he'll get 25 more with the third. So Dilly going to take the point lead by a slim margin, up by 25 now after another three-bull visit. Nooch, he's content to go after the middle and try to get it closed. He changes it up with the third dart, so gets a single bull with the second, jumps up to the 20s with the third to get a single. So he's trailing by five. Dilly back to the middle. That's a miss, and it's not going to help Dilly out at all. Nooch, there's a 20 to get the point lead back. And it looks like a pop-pop yep. finish for the Nooch, and it is single 20 and a green bit for the win. Game shot and the leg to the Nooch coming out, flinging those darts, 3.4 MPR. Dilly with just a 1.6. That'll hurt the season average. But Dilly's going to have darts in hand as we go to the second leg. Game on! Ongra says, hope the grease from the beard doesn't affect the grip. Just one. And Dilly once again getting off to just a single start. This time it's a single 20. The new show ever pounding in a treble with his first start. And that could be another seven mark to start. Looks like six 20s and 119. Nooch is not messing around. Knows Dilly has been on the come up this season, but looking to put him in his place and looking to chase down the top of the table. Looking to emulate that performance from the left hand hooligan last night as he swept the surgeon 9 0. Nooch has gotten a sweep or two, I think, this season himself. I believe he swept the author, so. Getting off to another good start here, trying to keep that trend going. There's two 19s and one 18 for three more marks. 
Once again, Dilly is in trouble, but Nooch has been scoring huge. There's a treble for Dilly. Dilly finally, however, he didn't have anything else in the 18th, so it's just the close of 18s. So we come back to the Nooch's side, needing just two to close. And it's a big third dart from the Nooch as he finds the treble with it to get it closed. Had gone left and right with the first. This time, Dilly's got the treble in the first dart on the 17, so he will get points on the board here. It looks like four 17s to add 17 points to the total. So going to have to do some work on the 17s to fend off the Nooch. However, the Nooch still has the point lead. He's been aggressive, and again, another treble first dart into the 17. So Nooch... Relentless with another seven mark, three 17s, four 16s, and then Nooch continues to just be an absolute monster here in the two cricket legs to this point. Dilly going to the bulb, not even bothering with the 15s. Looks like two, so that second dart did deflect and stay in. But again, it's the Nooch with a massive undertaking here in cricket. And it looks like four 15s and a bull. So a five mark for the Nooch. And he is just under the 5.0 threshold in this leg. And Dilly, you know, not really anything he can do about it. Even if he was throwing his average, this is still just a dominating performance from the Nooch. He's looking for two. The first one is in. Can he find the second? And he'll do it with a bullseye on the second dart. Game shot in the leg. And whoo, that was quick. A uh, 4.6 between the two legs, 3.9. Nooch is here and feeling it. He's got the darts as we move to 501. Game on. Train photo saying Nooch is damn good at darts. Hard to disagree the way he's been throwing the last couple of weeks. When he's been on stream, he's been up against some heavy hitters, and he has performed incredibly well. He's, you know, he's talked about in the post-game interviews how he's working on something else with his drawback. Whatever he's doing, I want some of it because it is working for the man. Congra agreeing. Not much he can do here. Yo to JMU spamming some dilly dead faces with some nose. Nooch, however, cooling off a little bit here. Start 501, maybe a little bit of adrenaline rush that he's got going from the hot cricket. But Dilly not doing much to punish, just a 43 and a 41, commanding three-point lead. Professor joining the chat. Dang, Nooch, so hot. Congra, some dirty cricket. PB Brown, 72-72. That's the left-hand hooligan, if you aren't aware. Comes in, just says, oh, my. Oh, my, indeed. There's a nice ton from Dilly Dilly finally getting a punishing blow to the Nooch as he was only able to get 30. So some slack scoring from the Nooch looking to pick it up here in round four of this one. There you go. He finds a treble this time. It's 96 score on the cover. But Dilly with that ton is out in front looking to continue to build on that lead. First starts into that treble 20 once again. And it's a ton 40 for Dilly Dilly, floating that third dart over the top, getting it into that treble bed. And now it's Dilly Dilly out in front, but the Nooch will not go away here. Oh, and that's a tough deflection, but it's a ton 40 response from the Nooch. The sweat was on. It was going to be tough for him to get that 180 the way the darts were lying in there. But Dilly is back in the treble bed himself. It's going to be 70 scored. He gets down to 107, but the Nooch actually going to get the first shot at a finish from 154 with that 69 average. Nice. It's off as he misses below, but he gets back into the treble bed with the second dart. Looking for the setup. Nice. 94 will leave him 60. Dilly requires 107. Oh, that dart was so close to that treble 20 to potentially leave double 14, but it missed. It's going to be 42 scored for Dilly Dilly down to 65. Nooch requires 60, two for tops. Inside over to the Rascal, double 10. And that is inside as well. The Rascal saying no to the Nooch here in the early goings. Left with 10, Dilly on 65. Hard to tell that first dart, maybe a seven. So he'll have one for tops. Oh, and it's a next door double just on the left side of the wire into the double five. We'll be left with 30. The nooch requires 10. Inside on the double five now has to clean up five 
That's barely into the one. He'll have one look at double two, and he'll find it with the third dart. Game shot. And the leg going to the nooch as he is three on the trot, on the spin, on the bounce. Thanks to some excellent cricket, some good darts down the stretch after a slow start from the nooch. Dilly, unfortunate to not get that leg. He'll have darts in hand, looking to rebound. Game on! Yo to JMU in the chat saying, oof, going to be one of these ones, eh? King Raj 10 says, getting the broom out. It's early going still, just a third of the way through the match. So Dilly, you know, having a very good season. Plenty of time for him to get on the board. It looks like the Nooch going to start things off with 70. As both these players lighten up that treble bed. If it was a unicorn board, you know there'd be bounce outs left and right. You'd be looking like Simon Whitlock throwing on the board with Sizel everywhere. 45 this time from Dilly Dilly. That's right, Unicorn. You want us to uh, stop trashing you guys? Maybe you can sponsor us and give us a bunch of free stuff. And you know, hey, hey, just try, just, just say, hey, just saying. There's another travel bed for the Nuge for 85. Dilly's gonna get in there with his first dart, and he'll score a ton with his third visit to the board, trying to fit that third dart into the treble somehow. Almost thought he might have switched for a cover the way his second dart came in, but he did elect to stay. Nooch, however, going to find another one himself. Nooch is going to respond with 100 of his own. So, again, players against the throw have been out in front. Dilly looking to change that. This is where he got hot in the last leg. This time he will drop down for the cover. 99 scored for Dilly Dilly, another big score for him. But it's the Nooch out in front as he's found a treble in every visit so far this leg. That trend will discontinue here. Just 42 scored. So, Dilly... Now trying to be the first one to a finish from 216. 59 score will be enough. He'll get down to 157. He's averaging 69 now. Nice. The Nooch looking to join him from 204. And it's going to be 40 or 55 scored, excuse me. So that is enough. That'll get him down to 149. But Dilly, first shot, 157. It's on. One for time. Got it. And he's going to take out a 1-5-7 for an 18-darter hey, Dilly okay, Dilly right game shot <laughs> and the leg as he takes out a massive finish. And Dilly, master of the big finishes in the past, continues that trend as he takes out a huge one. That'll be qualifying for the high checkout almost certainly. And it's also setting the pace right now for the high 501 throw. And more importantly, it's a leg on the board for Dilly Dilly in this match as he gets it four or three to one and stops the run, holds his throw. <laughs> He's trying to reset his camera now as he looked in and started shouting. Uh, you'll have to, hey, Nude, you'll have to uh, change the mat. You'll have to go to the next leg. And so something going on. There with the Dark Connect as they're working that out as I adjust some screenage here. There we go. Game on. The Nooch going to have to respond as darts in hand. Game on. Game is certainly on now after that one. Welcome to the game. Dilly Dilly with the 157. The Nooch undeterred. He had the nine dart sweat for the first two. It's a ton 40, another maximum sweat for the Nooch. That time looked like he had room in there and somehow split the darts and kicked up for just the 140. Dilly gonna answer with just a 30. I'm so done. Nooch, well out in front. Thanks to another big scoring visit. There is 45 score from the Nooch looking in the chat, the chat going crazy. Yo to Jamie, bang. Train photo, OMFG. Connor Darts, hashtag got it. King Raj 10, big time. PB Brown, 72, 72. Oh yeah, 157. Congra, master of the big ones. PB Brown, game changer. To Grubs 86, sounds like a challenge. Train photo is saying that was really nice, Dilly. Just 29, though, from the Nooch. Dilly looking to get back into that trouble bed now. Maybe he's a little bit pumped up after that big finish. Just 41, so his first nine not up to par, just at 38. King Raj had gotten the broom out, and now he says start sweeping the basement. Uh, Fireman says, whoa, Yota JMU throwing 100 biddies in for that big checkout. Thank you, Yota JMU, saying that was massive. Pierce one saying sex, the out, not the caveman. Maybe both, though. 
Train Photo says, might have to buy that last Dilly Dilly shirt that's been on clearance in the photo store. There's 70 scored for the ah. Nooch. Ow. Wow. Big darts. There's just 28, though, from Dilly Dilly. Yeah, I'll change it. Thought he had 38. He did not find that trouble five. He's out of that trouble five. There's another ton from the Nooch, so the Nooch is undeterred here by the big finish from Dilly in this leg, bouncing back nicely while Dilly languishing back, still in the mid-300s. The Nooch is on a finish at 117. There's 55 speed limit from Dilly Dilly. He's still above 300. Nooch requires 117. Won't be able to get there, but again, we'll have a lot of time for some setup. Nice math there. 57 scored leaves 60. To be fair, the, the bitch was directed at King Ron. <laughs> Dilly trying to backtrack now. <laughs> Look, man, I never meant it. <laughs> 44 no, from Dilly gets him down to 260. Nooch is 200 less than that, requires 60. He'll have two for tops. It's a good marker with the second. And he'll find it with the third. Another combination finish for the Nooch. Game shot and the leg. As he answers back with the 21 darter, go up 4-1. to one. Dilly now going to have to try to hold throw once again. Game on! PB Brown saying Nooch was not amused. King Rush down. I think Nooch appreciated that finish. And another 41 start from Dilly Dilly. <laughs> Yo, to JVU, Nooch says, Nooch is like, cute, you got one, bub. And there's 95 for the Nooch, continuing to punish that treble 20 wedge, beating on it like it owes him money. And Dilly's going to get an 83, that third dart clipping the wire as it goes by on the right side. Very nearly a ton 40 of his own. That looks like it's a 53 for the Nooch that last start into the trouble five, potentially. A little bit of a loose start maybe into the 18, but regardless, Nooch still on fire. Dilly's calmed down a little bit now. He's back on stroke. There is the ton 40 this time. Narrowly missed it in his last visit. He will have it this time, and he's back out in front. Nooch going for a cover shot here, blocking with that first start. 58 scored, so keeping him straight in that visit. Once again, another 69 average. Nice. A lot of that going on right now. Oh, and it might be back-to-back -to -back ton 40s for Dilly Dilly. That time, the sweat was on. Dilly very nearly throwing three 140s in a row. Had the maximum sweat. Gave it a good run, but he's under 100 after 12. Nooch is going to find a trouble there himself at just 66, though. Dilly requires 97. He won't be able to get a 15 darter, and he'll leave himself 59, missing that third dart into the one. Just 38 scored. Nooch back at 229, trying to put some pressure on. He'll need a treble now to get to a finish. 41 will not be enough. Down to 188. Dilly requires 59. There's the big number. He'll have one shot at tops. And it's just above. Was going to wait for confirmation with that flight a little bit in the way. He'll be coming back to the board with 40. Nooch back at 188. That dart's very close in that corner. I think it's an 82, though. It is an 82 for the Nooch down to 106. Dilly on tops. Just inside now to the Rascal. And that is outside. Rascal saying no. The Nooch with a chance to steal from 106. And I think he's going to have a look at the double 16. And I think that's in there. It looks like Nooch is going to take the 106 finish out to steal that leg from Dilly Dilly. Two ton plus finishes in this match. The Nooch coming from behind, and he is going to sneak that dart into the corner of the trouble 18 and barely on the inside of the double 16 to go up 5 1, securing victory. But we still have three legs to play. Nooch with darts in hand. Game on!
Ooh. And there it is. There is a uh, breakfast from the Nooch with the first throw. Single five, single 20, single one. We'll have a score correction when he comes back to the board. Uh, it's going to be 60 for Dilly. And as we do here in the FODL, ask an official breakfast question for the first breakfast of every match. And since we have two of our more uh, lengthily bearded gentlemen uh, in this match, we're going to ask the question of if you had a long beard, what breakfast would you eat to avoid getting food caught in your beard? 23 viewers in, out there, let me know. If, you, if you've had a long beard before, you know. I, I know, I know. I used to have a very, very aggressive looking beard. Uh, if you don't have a beard or don't have the ability to grow a beard, just imagine it. Just imagine you had a bunch of hair dangling off your face and you're trying to avoid food getting in it. What breakfast are you eating? Come back to the darts. This time it's the Nooch's turn to have a little bit of a slow start. Just a 37 first nine. Dilly with a 55. It's off to an okay start. Wouldn't say it's great, but it's doing the job right now. Train photo. There's a nice ton from the Nooch. Get back in. This one says hard-boiled eggs. Congra Dart says, as an ex-long beard owner, everything gets in your beard. That's true, but if, you, if you're trying to prevent it as best you can. The professor says she would not have an extra milky bowl of Honey Bunches of Oats. There's 58 scores for the Nooch. I'm assuming that's a maybe a dig. Maybe the Nooch likes milky bowls of Honey Bunches of Oats. There's a ton 21 from Dilly, so good scoring there. He'll be just outside of checkout range at 171. Nooch trying to get there from 233. He'll need the treble. That looks just below. So 40 scored down to 193. So Dilly, this time against the darts, will be the first one on a finish. How low will it be? 41 scored. It'll be the baby fish, 130. Nooch. Back at 193. The setup game has been strong to this point. And there's another good one. A hundred score down to 93. Dilly requires Babyfish 130. It's on. It looks like a shot for the bull. Oh, and that's going to go just wide, but it looks like it's into the 14, so it's going to leave a pretty good finish there at 36, 94 score, but the nooch requires 93. This time he will not have a shot at the double. Oh, and he's going to miss the big 20 as well. We'll be left with 55. Dilly, three clearing darts for 36. And he'll take it on the first game. Shot and the leg from Dilly Dilly. Coming in with the break of throw right back. Nooch had stolen one from him with a 106 finish. This time Dilly Dilly able to close the deal as he makes it 5-2. Again, important leg wins still out there for these players. Each leg is worth a couple points apiece for the standings. Dilly going to have darts in hand to try to get a winning streak going. Game on! Let's see. Got some more answers. Yota J. Muse says bacon wrapped sausage would be his answer. There's an 83 from Dilly. Was close to, again, another two treble visit. Uh, Pierce said one says nothing liquid or crumbly. Your dad's GF said, I simply would not avoid it. I'd let it go stupid, go crazy. <laughs> go stupid, go crazy. Congress says it's cool. You can save food for later. That's true. True. Pierce said once says fruit is generally a safe bet. Your dad's GF, runny eggs, maple syrup on waffles, yogurt, and condensed milk. There you go. Dave Little Toaster says, I have a little baby's face. Wish I could grow a mustache. How about some thick oatmeal? I mean, you may not be able to grow the mustache, but we know we can, you can grow the mullet. Hashtag bring it back. There's another 80 score for Dilly for an 81. A single trouble, that third dart drifting right. Again, this leg looking to be much more competitive. A nice ton scored, dropped in from the nooch. The both players over 70 once again in the first nine. First nine's been a little bit up and down, but when they've been on, they have been on for sure. There's 36 this time from Dilly finding a next door neighbor trouble into the five. So nooch 
to have the possibility to get there. He won't be able to get there anymore. Uh, it's 59 scored from the Nooch. I'm sure uh, you to Jamie will throw some eye rolls at that one. Dilly trying to get there from 256. Not going to be able to. 45 scored down to 211. So trailing in this one. This time Nooch against the throw out in front. So he's working on getting to a finish from 204. This time he does the math correctly. 44 score will leave him 160. But Dilly's going to be on a finish after this visit as well. That second dart into the trouble. 20. It's 100 scored down to 111 for Dilly Dilly. The Nooch looking for a 1-6-0. And it's off. There's a good dart at it just above the trouble bed. 60 scored for the Nooch. Leaves an even 100. Dilly requires 111. Taking his time with some math. 57 scored. The one there going to leave himself 54. Newt requires 100. Oh, just into the five and two darts left of target here in the early goings for the Nooch. Oh, that's a rough turn for him. Just 13 scored for the Nooch. Dilly requires 54. One shot for the Rascal now. And it misses outside. Dilly left with 20. Rascal saying no. Once again, the Nooch requires 87. Oh, my gosh. And Nooch not able to get to a finish once again. But he's going to leave tops after finding the treble eight. So 47 scored there. Dilly requires 20. Rascal saying no again. It's inside. But he pings it. The double five with the second dart. Game shot and the leg going to Dilly Dilly as he is able to pick another one off here, make it five to three. He's looking to close the gap again as we move to the final leg of this match. This has been a quick one, guys. Look at it. It's 840, and we started. I mean, it's been just a blistering pace. Then Nooch is going to have darts in hand for the final leg of this match. Game on! Two minutes each. There's a nice ton for the Nooch. And again, part of this great pace coming from the fact that both players have been absolutely throwing lights out here in 501. You see the average is 64 apiece. But really, it comes back to the cricket. It wasn't the Nooch just kind of steamrolled it, and the cricket was was over in a flash. There's a ton 40. So the Nooch trying to finish this one in a hurry with a ton, ton 40 start down to 261 already after two visits. 60. There's 60 score for Dilly. He's keeping it consistent, but slowly falling behind here. As the Nooch is getting hot. That might be a third ton. It is another ton. So the Nooch is on and out after nine. Looking for a 161. Dilly looking to give chase. He's in the trouble bed this time. It'll be a ton response from Dilly Dilly. He's throwing well, but the Nooch, 161. It's on. Oh, he just barely misses that treble 17. Was about to say, could we see two ton 50 plus finishes in this one? But again, Nooch with some great stuff there. 91 down to 70. Dilly furiously trying to give chase. There's a ton 40, and Dilly's on a finish now, down to 141. So there is pressure for this for Nooch to take out this 70. He wants double 16. And he misses outside. Can Dilly get the steal with another monster? 141. It's on. Oh, he couldn't find the treble 19. He gave it a good run. You hear the sigh now has to recollect himself figure out what the correct target is he's got 79 he goes after the 10 so he'll leave 52 some great stuff happening Nooch requires 32 outside it's too far for marker both those are too far marker he's gonna have to get it in there clean and the third dart that would have been a great marker but it's just outside dilly now for 52 he's got two for tops 
That's inside to the rascal. Hey, rascal, I'm sorry for earlier today, all right? Damn it! <laughs> Dilly trying to apologize to the rascal as rascal said no to him all evening, continues to do so. Back to Nooch on 32. Oh, there's a next door into double seven. Now he's looking at double nine. It's outside. He'll have one more dart at it. And he will find it with the third. Gets the double nine to take a 6 3 victory. Game shot the leg and the match going to the Nooch. In an absolute classic, back and forth, 501 was absolutely pristine from both these players. You see those averages, 65 for the Nooch, 66 for Dilly Dilly, but the Nooch able to pair it with that 3.9 across two legs of cricket, and that is the difference in this one. If that was a split of cricket, it's a 5-4 match, and this one, you know, I'm not trying to say anything. I'm not trying to say it. Hey, there's Dilly finding double 20, one dart too late. Uh, this man's going to be competitive for match of the week. That's a tough one to beat. And we're going to go to the interview portion of this one. Uh, Dilly came out, you know, he just kind of put a whooping on you in cricket. And there was, you know, even if you were playing your game, you know, maybe you're able to shake him with creating a point battle. But even still, if he was able to continue that pace, really not a whole lot you can do. How how were you able to reset yourself and come back and play some excellent 501 to recover and still get three legs? Yeah, uh, I mean, like you said, he, he came out hot. I came out straight garbage. Uh, none of the darts were flying my way. Couldn't hit any marks during the cricket portion. The cricket was really bad. Uh, maybe I could have, you know, battled during that portion despite him playing out of his mind, but... No, it was rough, but it was uh, it was a they were quick, nice little like warm up, I guess. Uh, and I mean, it took me a little bit in the, in the five hundred one as well. But uh, no, nah, I mean, every every game uh, it's a tough one, and I know it's going to be tough. So that mindset, I go in knowing I I'm going to have to fight the entire time, and I and I never stop fighting. Yeah, and I mean. You know, we've, we've talked about B being a bloodbath for so many seasons. A is turned into, like, if B is a bloodbath, I don't even know what we can call A because it's an absolute, like, it's, it's just ridiculous week to week. And, and you've, you've encountered that firsthand when we talked about those stats. I mean, no, I don't, you know, criminal likes to talk about everybody throws their best against me all the time. Wah, wah, wah. That's literally the case for you. I mean, you... The, the numbers really don't lie as you look at it. I mean, your opponent's three-dart average against in cricket is 2.7. The Nooch was fourth in the league at 2.79. So right. people elevating that, and that's going to go up after tonight. And then your opponent three-dart average in 501 is good enough to be fourth best in all of the league. And that's going up tonight. And you're still out here battling sitting in fourth place. So how much confidence does that give you for your own dark game, seeing how much you've been able to battle and grow and get better from week to week? I mean, yeah, no, it, it instills so much confidence in myself. They always say I have a r irrational confidence. My confidence has always been rational. Uh, it's the most rational. It's <laughs> best. Um, no, I, it, it feels good. And, you know, I, uh, I credit it. My opponents playing how they do is I never set the time. I let my opponents choose because I want them to play when they are at their best, when they feel comfortable playing. So I want them to come at me with their best so I can beat them. I didn't beat them tonight, uh, but I want to play an opponent who battles me the entire way. I want them to be at their best because it makes an exciting match. I live for the excitement. I live for the challenge. Uh, I'm an athlete, a competitor at heart, not in body. And... Uh, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I live for it. I live for it. I, I, I love this. I love this play. I love this. Uh, even when I lose, you know, I'm still getting three legs and not getting whitewashed. Yeah, I mean, you've had some of the more entertaining matches all season. They really have been. How they haven't been more of the match of the week has just, again, shown how, how good some of the other matches have been. But uh, just looking at some of the chat, Kongra asking, was this father versus son as we're looking at both the beers <laughs> Uh, Yo to Jay Muse is breaking news. Dilly Dilly signed by Geico to reprise the caveman role. Uh, 
there's there's some good stuff there. Cogra, jeez, there's. there's I, thought there's about, some... I thought about dyeing my hair, my my beard white uh, for this match. But... <laughs> you're gonna have to you're gonna have to go look at some of the chat for some of the stuff I don't really want to say out loud. But uh, I... there's some there's some quality stuff. Dilly, looking forward to game week seven again. On paper, it's going to be another banger as you got the surgeon coming up next oh, week. Yeah. He's coming off a 9 nothing whitewash, so you know he's going to be a little angry. What's the game yeah, plan we'll to get ready for that one? No, nah, I'm excited for that one. We'll see uh, We'll see how he is against King Raj, too. If we, uh, if we get a little 18-leg sweep, uh, maybe we can make it 27. Um, that'll, be, that'll be a fun match. Uh, I'm sure, especially against me, he, I mean – he doesn't care about his opponents. That's uh, what Surgeon will say. He's like, oh, no, I'm fine. Oh, oh, yeah, whatever. But uh, maybe all the trash talk, because I was definitely rooting against him the entire time when he was losing. Uh, <laughs> loved it. I loved it. Um, it was the greatest thing. I was I was cheering his loss. I was like, come on, give me another. Um, so I'm sure he's going to – He's. I mean, he, he's beat me every time. Um, but this time I'm actually playing well. So maybe maybe I'll play well for once against him. That'll be nice. Uh, but no, it'll be fun. He's he's good at darts, except yesterday. Well, we will see what happens, Dilly. We're looking forward to it. I know you are. Uh, again, another great performance. Didn't work out in your favor on the scoreboard, but uh, congratulations on being able to pick off three. And we'll see you a little bit later. Appreciate it. Good match, man. It's fun. Great throw, Dilly. We're going to go over to the Nooch now. The man coming out on top with the 6-3 victory this evening. And again, talked about it a little bit during the cast there, doing something different with the throw. We've seen you the last three weeks, and, you know, all of it's been kind of similar to this. Maybe not quite as good in the cricket portion, but it's been, you know, consistently 3.0 plus for you. So you came out and really set a tone in this match. How much did that help you out going forward, knowing that Dilly's been – playing some of the best cricket of everybody in the league. Yeah. I mean, I knew it was going to be tough and I knew I'd have to throw it well. I mean, I'm, I'm in a position where I've got to sort of perform the rest of the way. I, I got um, a floating man, a floating game uh, match against King Raj later this week. Uh, and you know, the way the top of the table is now, it's like you just, there's no let up at all in anybody. So uh I was feeling good after the first couple legs, and I was really hoping to keep that up, get me some of that sweet, sweet whitewash action. But um, <laughs> I, it's still just, you know, I wasn't able to be as consistent as I would have liked. Uh, you know, the, the throw still feels good. It's one of those deals where, like, everything I feel like I figure out just sort of leads to the next thing to figure out. So it's tough to kind of get to a place where it feels really, really reliable. But on the whole, it's all going the right direction, so I can't complain. Yeah, everything currently trending up for you. You got off to that 3 nothing start, in fact, because you were able to pick up the first one of 501. And then Dilly came back with that 157 out to get on the board. And it didn't seem yeah. to phase you at all because the very next throw, you came out with the 180 sweat, and it was a deflection to keep it out. And I think you finished that one in 21 darts as a response. So how big was that leg to get back on track to make sure that you weren't affected knowing that Dilly's got those big darts at any point. Yeah, I feel like I'm okay at that sort of, you know, taking those moments where somebody takes out a huge out or, you know, throws a 15, 14 dart leg and uh, you just sort of accept that there's not much you can do to control that and just carry your game into the next leg. And I was able to do that. I feel like I, I'm, I'm, you know, pretty good at that in general. Uh, I was, if anything, I was just a little bit more determined to try to get the next leg and kind of break that ship, you know, get back on track. Yeah, well, it certainly seemed to be the case in the chat. The chat's been loving this one. Uh, Kongra says, I'm surprised Nooch had time to play, thought he'd be too busy this month. And Pierce had once says, just put the sleigh on autopilot. So uh, <laughs> some, uh, some... You know, it is December now officially since it's December 1st. So I think that's where we're alluding to there. So we'll see uh, if you're available around the holiday. But speaking of being available for game week seven, you're going to have to grubs on the schedule, Nooch. What's the game plan to get ready for that one? Yeah, just, you know, it's I got to keep up the standard. I sort of have got to a place and, and the whole goal is to just just stay there. Keep working on it. Keep plugging away. And, uh, you know, be really uh, mindful not to slip into bad habits. Um, and, and that's about it. Kind of see where that takes me the rest of the way. 
including DeGrubbs. I mean, DeGrubbs is one of those players who can just sort of you know, do anything anytime. Uh, he had uh, every season, there's a, there's a match or two where he just kind of appears and throws 20 points above his regular average, and I hope it's not next week. <laughs> <laughs> DeGrubbs certainly been a little bit one of the more volatile players in the league so far where, you know, some high highs and some low lows. But uh, to quote Mike Tomlin, the new, the standard is the standard, and it seems to be rising for you uh, at the right time. So congratulations on the 6-3 victory. Good luck the rest of the way, and we'll talk to you a little bit later. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the cast, Radar. Great job uh, with the darts there, Dilly. Hey, you too, man. That was fun. We got applause on both sides for both opponents, and we'll be back with some more darts. But first, a message from our sponsors. <laughs> That's right, the photo merch store, fodartleague.com slash store. You can get some lovely stuff. I believe the weekend is over now, so we no longer have the hoodies on sale that you saw Dilly Dilly wearing. But we still have t-shirts, patches. I believe there's a holiday ornament out there right now, so that's a special item for the holiday season. Go over to fodartleague.com slash store and check it out. 30 viewers in the chat. That was a barn burner for the first one. It can only get better, maybe. We're going to go to a photo C matchup for our second one, but we do have more darts coming your way here. Darts Night on Twitch presented by the FODL. One twenty. Three eights. So, ladies and gentlemen, looks like we're back now. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, yes. I guess, um, I guess everything kind of completely crashed. So, and it didn't save any of the stuff that I had. So, you'll get to see everything being edited on the fly while these uh, players continue to throw in this point battle that they've got brewing here in cricket. As we've got Alki on the left, so boom, we'll go ahead and throw that up there. We've got the accountant on the right. At least have this one running here appropriately. Alki's out in front, but the accountant's going to find a treble. He's going to find two trebles. There's a six mark in the 17s for the accountant to get some points. So hopefully we will be able to keep the stream running. Hopefully we've been able to come back here and rejoin us as I continue to try to get things uh, situated here in real time. Scoreboards. Try to get the going on. One seven. Two sevens. One twenty. should be back up and running uh, completely here now looks like everything is appropriate and everything's back um, okay well we're back ladies and gentlemen a little bit of technical difficulties there typical for a photo production if you've never been a part of one before um, yeah these things these things will happen with uh, the old internet streaming this is there's a good turn from Alki, getting the 16s close, finding a trouble 15 to get that close, missing the bull. There's a tough bounce out. See ya for the account. Don't land it behind me. That's an impressive bounce out. Probably take the springs out of from behind the board. There's a single bull from the accountant. Alki, however, needs three to get this first leg on the board. One bull. Gets a single. 19's already closed, so Alki's got the advantage of having the 20s and the 15s on which to score if need be. But Accountant's going to need to put the pressure on in the center, which is the only place he will have left to score. 
Fun fun. Unknown A101, thank you for joining us. Seems like, uh, I think you said earlier this is your first time. Yeah, we're playing uh, first two legs are a game called Cricket. So in the middle, you see there's 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, and bull. The idea is to get three marks in every single one of those numbers. So obviously the trouble is three, doubles two, singles are worth one. If you got the wedge closed off before your opponent, you can score on it by scoring additional marks. Like Alki right there is the 15's closed where the accountant does not. And he's able to score 15 points. Speaking of getting points, the accountant's going to get three bulls. So that'll be worth 50 points. And he gets a straight, looked like he had a straight 20 in there as well. But maybe I was mistaken. One bull. Alfie's I did have a point. That's my fault. get a single bull in there. So we'll go back to the accountant. He can either try to edit the turn if he wants, or he can throw and see if he can just plug it in here. Up to him. Looks like he'll attempt to go with the score editing with the back and then edit previous turns and add the single 20 in to his last one. Get really slow. So there is the updated score, and we are back on track. Accountant looking to score on the bull. Keep this leg alive. Alki threatening. He would only need one. There's a Robin Hood coming at you. So blocked himself out. He was able to get a single for 25 more points, but Alki still with a... 54-point lead, looking for the final nail in the coffin, and he'll do it with a bullseye! Game shot, and the leg to Alki, doing it with a flourish there with the bullseye finish. He holds throw. It's going up one nothing in this C Division matchup. The accountant will have darts in hand going to the second leg. Game on! Sorry, right, start repair. Doing some dart repair for the accountant after that Robin Hood. We'll look around the league. Left-hand hooligan up 3-0 over the author right now. So looking for back-to-back -back whitewashes is left-hand hooligan. Uncle Corky up 2-0 over the Kilf in that C Division matchup. Alpine Stranger and Unholy Cannoli just getting started. Uh, so they're in their first leg at 0-0. Alpine Stranger leading the way in points with a 2.8 MPR, but Unholy Cannoli is right there with a 2.7. Take a sip from my water glass as we continue. Um, and left-hand hooligan's got a massive leg going on this one. He's on 62 after nine, I believe. Three. And the count will get the 20s closed here with three single 20s. Not able to get points. Alki, though, first start, treble 19 will get that close. Can he follow with another? Three. Does not look like it. So a treble 19, but can't get any points on the board first for Alki. Accountant, he's going to get into that treble bet of the 20s with his first start, and he'll get four of them to blaze it for 80 points. Three. Alki with a better grouping this time, but it's the same result as this time. They're all in the single 19s for 57 points. Point battle is off and running here in the early goings. Two more 20s for the accountant, up to 120 points now. Alki refines that treble bed. The treble 19s, and it's five 19s for Alki. As he gets out in front with 152 now. Count looking to keep the points going. He'll manage two 20s to get back out in front. Alpine Stranger notching the first leg in their match to go up one nothing over Unholy Cannoli. And it's a miss on this visit from Alki. Almost found the double 19 with his last, but missed outside. The count now. Looks like he's changing the strategy. Went after the 19s here with a slim lead. Only gets one on the first, missed the second. Jumped back up to the top for 20s with the third, but missed that as well. So it doesn't add to the point lead, but he does get a single 19 to start working four. on the close. But there's four more 19s coming in from Alki. Going to make the accountant definitely go back up for more points this time. He'll get two more 20s. So this time it's Alki coming to the board with the point lead. And he looks content to continue to try to bolster the point lead. What's that? He'll get a stray 17, so a little bit loose with the dart, but it's just loose enough to count for another wedge. An accountant and we'll get back on top in points with two more steady 20s. Three. Four and one. 
Falke is going to get four 19s, and this time with his third dart, will move up to the 20s to start working on that wedge. Gets a single up there. A big third dart from the accountant, though, getting four 20s. Needed it to get back on top in points, and he is able to connect. So the See, nice. points important. Alki back to the 19s for two. Accountant's going to get two with a double 20 with his first. Four more 20s back to back. Blaze it turns for the accountant. So he gets 80 more. Now he's up to 400. Meantime, left hand hooligan getting another leg. So now up 4 0. Yep. Two more 19s for Alki. Trailing by 20. We're seeing the accountant once again be aggressive. There's the two 19s to close. So Alki's cut off from the points at 19s. Gets a single 20 with his last. A good three mark visit for the accountant. Getting the 19s closed. Adding to his point lead as well. Alki on the move to 18s. But he's going to come up empty his first trip. So accountant with a big opportunity to really take command of this one. But he's going to go for more points it looks like. Gets two more 20s. Now up by 80. Now he continuing to get a little loose there on the 18s. Corrects with the second dart, but found a couple of 13s over there. So just one 18. Now the accountant switching over to the 18 wedge. Oh, God. And the third dart goes back to the 20s. May have blocked himself off with that second dart. So just the single 18 for the accountant. Alki needed to get something going. And now he will have the ability to score. He got... Gets two 18s there. Can the accountant get it closed? There's one. And he will get it closed with the third. It's going to be four, but counting for two. So Alki already had it closed, but Alki going to have to be on the move. Had that slot 17 from earlier, so it's going to help him out here. As he's going to get two 17s, but that's enough to get it closed now, thanks to that one from earlier. Accountant going right after it himself. There's good grouping from the accountant. So as soon as Alki gets it open, accountant shuts the door right behind. Alki on the move once again. One second. Manages just a single 16. So the accountant will be aggressive. There's a treble 16. That's a huge dart. And a treble 20, a six mark round from the accountant, adding 60 points, getting another wedge closed. Alki now left with just 15, and Bull Accountant's got 16s and the 20s. There's four 15s, though, from Alki to get it started, but he is trailing by a big number right now. The accountant going over to 15s, but he only gets one. So Alki going to need to start pouring in some trebles on that 15 wedge, and there's a good turn for him. Five 15s starting to eat into that gap. Accountant's still up 50. There's the two 15s now for the close. Goes up to the 20s, gets another one. So he is up by 70 now. Accountant left, or excuse me, Alki left only with the bull. Looks Close like 16s. A, a couple of good slop 16s there. Fitting into the skinny portion of that 16 wedge to get it closed. It's kind of stuff that Alki's going to need here. So one one ball, one ball. Close. it's a one single ball. bull for the accountant. And there's a nice, nice bullseye Bullseye. to go along with a single 20 from Alki. So Accountant, once again, forgetting to score his turn. He had gotten a single bull, so he is two away. It looks like he's going to correct that. And as we do, we'll look around the league once again. Alpine Stranger now up 2 nothing. He sweeps the cricket portion over Unholy Cannoli. Left-hand hooligan is up 5 nothing again, looking for back-to-back whitewashes this week. Kilth and Uncle Corky. There's a nice 520s from the accountant. So the accountant going for points, putting some distance between him and Alki. Alki, however, he's going to get points on the board here immediately with the bull. There's a hat trick for three green bits. 50 points earned for Alki. So he gets three. So he's down by 120 now. This time, accountant is going after the center, and he'll come up empty. A couple of darts clipping the wire, but not able to get in there. Uncle Corky up 2 1 over Kilth. So both in checkout range now, but Alki is dialed in right now on the center. There are two more bulls and a close of 20 for three more marks. So now it's just a bull race for this one. Alki down by 75 points. Accountant's going to manage a single there with his last start. So the accountant needs one. Alki 
needs three. Will not be able to do it on this visit, although the third dart is a bullseye. So now it's one to one. Who can get the last bull? And it's going to be the accountant with the first dart getting it into the green bit. Alki with a great chase at the end, but the accountant is able to hold nerve and hold throw. Game shot and the leg to level the match at one, slitting the cricket portion of this match. We're going to move on to 501 as Alki's got darts in hand. Game on! VT Goskins in the chat saying, nice. Yota JMU, wow, 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 what a leg. Thai curry pizza, bazam. Congra darts, cricket has been fire tonight, apart from Dilly. That is definitely a fact. Some cricket showing up to play. This 41. 41 scored for Alki. Evil Morty 69, what up, dart nerds? Thanks for joining Evil Morty 69. There's 55, the accountant driving the speed limit over on the right side of the screen. Alki's going to get into the treble 20 bed this visit, though, for 73. Third dart slipping left into the 12. Still, I mean, treble in this league is a good one. And just 45, it looks like, from the accountant. Tried to slip that third dart between the two into the treble 20, but unable to do so. Alki's back in there. There's a ton scored for him. So Alki's starting to get hot. Account's going to answer back. He's in the trouble bed this visit. 85 this time for the accountant. Neck and neck, we come down the board. 242, 271. Both of the players averaging above 55. Account's at 58. Alki's at 65. That's going up. Back to back. Ton scores for Alki. And he's on and out at 142. Accountant with a great cover shot, though, for an 82 scored. As he gets down to 189, he's not on a finish, but giving chase, Alki requires 142. And it's off. First start into the wall. He'll score 40. 40, get down to 102. Counting now back at 189. And he'll apply some pressure. That's a great second dart. And it's 87 scored from the accountants of both players now at 102. Alki with the first shot. Oh, boy. First, but the trouble 20 with the second. Now he's got one look at the double six. Got it. And he's going to take out a 102 finish. Alki, a 21 darter, taking out a 102, hits the 10, gets down to 92. Trouble 20 leaves 32 and pings double 16. Game shot and the leg. A ton plus out here in the C division. And our third ton plus out of the night as we had two in that first match and Alki is on the board up to one with a 21 darter as well great darts there accountant looking to rebound with darts in hand game on pierce owed one gifting a tier one sub to unknown a 101 that gifted 12 so thank you for the gifted sub pierce owed one there's a little roadhouse double deuce action from the accountant and we got the hype train rolling. Yo to JMU throwing in 100 bits. So hype train is rolling. Gift sub or use bits or 80%. VT uh, Pits 2 subscribe with Prime. They subscribe for 26 months. Thank you, Pits 2. We got the hype train. VT Goskins account, account running up against it tonight so far. Yo to JMU going Oprah style. You get a ton plus out. You get a ton plus out. Everybody got a ton plus out. DJ Mike, he was throwing in a ton, 100 biddies, so he's looking to get that hype train elevated. Speaking of elevated, Accountant's got a treble in the second visit with an 81. Got a solid 60 in that one. There's a 59 for Alki, so keep it pace. Once again, another good tight leg. Ty Curry Pizza throwing in 100 biddies. And Dan Mojica, 12, throwing in 100 biddies. A lot of biddies. Thank you very much, everybody. Hype train is going. Appreciate 45. all the support. 45 down from Alki. Accountant comes back for this visit. Looks like another solid 60 from the accountant. Down to 248. But Alki is in the trouble. Ah! 
125. And it's a 125. The max sweat was on. Alki here to play tonight as he takes the lead now down to 174. And there is a breakfast from the accountant. We'll get to the breakfast question in the next leg. Alki just outside threatening checkout position. And we are on a level three hype train, so everything coming in hot right now. As VT Goskins uh, gifted five tier one subs to the community. Thank you, VT Goskins. Appreciate that. Uh, Yo to JMU gifting a tier one sub to Congra. So there you go. If you are getting gifted subs, go ahead and use the emotes that we have specifically for our channel. Uh, you can find them by clicking on the smiley face in the right end of the chat. There's an 81 for Alki. So we'll get down to 52 accountant. Still outside checkout range. He'll be on a finish on the next one. It's a good setup there. There's 100 scored. He gets down under 100, down to 94. But Alki already 52. And right. Wanted the double 16 once again. Missed the 20. Was able to hit the big 15. The count requires 94. Count was going the bullseye route it looks like hits the 17 at 77 remaining oh and that's just next door one of the trouble 19 for the rascal instead he found the trouble seven oh my God, i missed the big numbers all day <laughs> and he misses the big number wanted the 16 to leave tops left with 56 alki looking for double 16 and that's high into the eight now with the double 12. And it's a fallout. See ya. Note as eight scored for Alki, left with 24. Accountant, 56. He'll have two for tops. That's a great marker. And he uses it to perfection. Game shot and the leg going to the accountant, pinging the combination finish 56 to once again level this match at two apiece. As it's been all hold held throws to this point, Alki trying to keep that train going speaking of hype trains he's got darts in hand game on dan mohica 12 throwing out a bunch of individual biddies uh fist of gammon subscribing to prime they've subscribed for 17 months saying you should remember to do this more often yeah yep vt goskins this is photo c question mark oh well you have to jamie quality finish right there great marker it was a great marker and it was used very well Alki looks Fine. like it's going to be another ton for him. So Alki's been hot on that treble 20. As now we are, once again, 100% hype train. Level 3 is complete. So people very generous. Level 4 is up and running. Accountant's going to get 45 poured in. As it's Pits 2 gifting 5 tier 1 subs to the community, which popped us to a level 4 hype train. Uh, around the league, left-hand hooligan, one leg away from back-to-back -back whitewashes this week. And there's another breakfast, which reminds me, I owe you all, excuse me, a breakfast question. And since we got the hype train rolling, let's uh, let's ask you. One. And one, two, one for Alki once again, finding another two-trouble visit. So if you were hyped up and you were on a train, what are you or ordering from the breakfast cart? Let me know, 29 viewers. Living on a train, riding the rails a little bit, or maybe it's some one of those like classy, you know, Napa oh, Valley really? tour train things where you, you get to go out and and drink a bunch of wine, and they've got food service. If you're ordering a breakfast on a train and you're hyped, what are you having? Twenty nine viewers, fifty five. A little speed limit from the accountant. Okay, Alki might earn some eye rolls from the criminal off that one as he hit twenty six and left himself a bogey. Forty. And it's 40 scored for Alki, so now he will be on a finish down to 128. Accountant back at 220, trying to get there. Oh, when he needed that third dart to stay straight, instead it drifts into the 5, 175 left. Alki requires 128. And it's off. VT Goskin says, I've actually ordered breakfast on the train many times. Never, ever get the eggs. All right, well... VT Goskins is not ordering eggs on the hype train. Dude, seven every time. Accountant, 47, scored, struggling on the cover shots, but he's down to 128. Alki requires 84. So five with his first.
first start. Now to 79. He went the 19s route, missed just below, so he's got one dart in hand for the completion of the setup here. Oh, yeah. That might be into tops, which would leave 20 if it is for 64 scored. So he's either going to have tops left or 20 left. It is 20. The Counten's got 128. Doing some good math there. 58 scored from the accountant. Leaves him 70. Alki looking for the rascal. Double 10. Trying to walk it in. Inside. And goes too far inside as Rascal says no. Cuts the score in half. Left with 10. Accountant 70. Oh, and the accountant again struggling to find the big numbers. Initially went one of the treble 18 to leave double eight and miss. And another big number miss for the accountant. One of the big 18 to leave tops, but he's left with 58 instead. Alki requires 10. Alki with some flatter line darts rather than a marker. That might actually be in his way, so he might have to be moving along the Alki. Stacks right, ah, right next to it, and the third dart is going to be low and right into the 20s for a bust. So Accountant will come back to the board facing this 58. We'll have two for tops. Inside, he's got a shot of the Rascal now. That is outside as well. Rascal stingy tonight to this point. Accountant left with 20. Alki back to 10. Five. I believe it's five scored. The third dart appearing there. So he's got a combo cleanup now. Accountant looking for double 10. And he's got it for the first break of throw in this match. Game shot and the leg going to the accountant. He gets up three to two now. This is the rascal finally says yes to somebody tonight. Some more biddies coming in uh, from Pitts 2 and Dan Mohica 12. Trying to keep the hype train rolling. Accountant's got darts in hand. Game on. Still a level four hype train going. It's within 1%. There's 25 seconds left. There's a nice 55 speed limit. Counting, getting things started. Alki going to find a treble with his first start, though. And it looks like a One, two, ton 32 for Alki. Got a 12 in there, but also had a pair of treble 20s. So the big scoring has been there on the left side of the board. Accountant with 45 in response. And there is the level five hype train now, the final level. Everybody 30. excited. As bits come pouring in. Pierce of one, Yota JMU, Pitts two. Choo choo, everybody. Everybody excited about it. And left hand hooligan in the upper left as Accountant pours in a ton, completes the sweep and whitewash of the author. So this week, Left-hand hooligan, 18 and 0. That will put some distance between you and the rest of the field in the very competitive photo A division. There's 40 scored from the account, narrowly missing that treble 20 wedge. So I'm pretty sure everybody just ignored the breakfast question. It's okay. It wasn't a very good one. But again, none of them are at this point. 60 scored, solid for Alki. You see that MPR 70-plus accountants. MPR right on 60 mark coming to the board there for 41. So he's playing well in this leg also. 58. 58 scored from Alki, leaves him 161, so does get to a finish there. And once again, a count from 220. Can't keep the third one in. Back-to-back -back 41s doesn't get him to an out, but Alki requires 161. It's off. First start was a single 20. 59 scored coming in from Alki. Leaves him 102. Already got that one once. Counts back at 179. 59 scored for him. Leaves him the Shanghai 120. Alki with the shot at 102. Six. 60 scored for Alki. Interesting. That leaves him 42. There is 40 scored. Yota JMU throwing in the eye rolls, and he's on the Alki train. You know that. Count's going to leave himself 80. Alki requires 42. Oh, and that one's going to slip into the 15 with the first. So some cleanup work 
for Alki now. Let's see which route he wants to go. A couple of options out there. He ponders the second dart. And it's going to be a missed target as well. Looks like he wanted the 11 for double 8. Instead found 8. And finds an 18. I believe that's going to be a bust of 41 scored. So Algie's back to 42, accounting on 80. And he had a shot at the bull. Found the 5 with the first. Green bit with the second for 25. Left with the bullseye. Hits the 20. He'll be left with 30. Back to Alki on 42. This time looks like he's going to find double 10. So looking for a lushy, lushy finish. Double 10. Can he get the double 11? The third dart is inside, so he'll be left with 11. Accountant requires 30. Going right after the double 15. A very aggressive play here. Inside with the third. Going to cut it in half for 15 remaining. Sorry, the reconnect's being weird. It was just a slow score input there. Maybe. I need a refresh on somebody's side. There we go. And Alki, you should have 11 remaining, not 21. Yeah, I'm trying to fix it. Start connecting up these. There we go. So Alki requires 11. There is the three, so a good first looking for double four. Just inside now to double two. Nope. And just outside with the last, so left with four. Count now trying to clean up 15. And it's a first dart bust as he misses the big seven once again, finding double 19. Back to Alvin on, on four. Dude, something's going on. Hold on a second. When you try to change your score, it's a... Uh... now to the madhouse for Alki and it's a bust on the madhouse with the final dart so back to four accountant once again missing the seven he's been hitting it all night when he wants the 19 now he wants the seven hitting the 19s so just the way it goes so emotes being delivered to supporters for the hype train thank you very much as the hype train comes to a conclusion Alki once again busting the third dart on the madhouse attempt so he'll stay on four and the accountant this time. The struggle of big numbers continues on the right side, finding double seven for a bust. Back to Alki, looking for double two inside on the second. And it's been three identical turns for Alki. Outside, inside, bust. This time the accountant's got the seven. Can he find double four? He can find double four with the final dart. Game shot and the leg going to the accountant as he's going to guarantee himself a match victory up four to two. But we've got one final leg to play this evening as we've got come to the last leg of the cast. Alki's going to have darts in hand. Game on. We'll clean up some of the extra scoreboards that we have going on around. Thank you.